Hi everybody. Today we are going to do Madhuri hip shapes. Everyday makeup routine. So let's get started. Her makeup is very simple, very easy to do, very beginner friendly and we are not going to use the products what she used but what is affordable and what everyone can reach out. We are going to try First, it. First I am using Pons gel based moisturizer. And don't forget your under eye. That is what she tells in the video. So that your skin is hydrated. Due to the cameras and lights, the skin moisture drains. So she believes in applying a very good moisturizer. So once you're done, see that you rub the moisturizer and apply it. Don't forget your neck and your hands. That's what she tells. And nicely emulsify in your skin and upward motion see that it don't forget your under eye so don't forget your hands that's what she means in the video i hope you go and watch that video and find it helpful she so guys the second step under is she applies cream. Cream. don't and forget your under cream under and give a nice massage she uses is her foundation very little again on the palette she takes we'll take it on our hand a very little product just two pumps we are going to take very little as she mentioned two pumps that's more than enough so for everyday makeup again she takes another brush and starts blending it she applies in a dot a dotted form she first dots her face wherever it's required more so same way we will do it don't forget your neck as she mentions in her video taking a brush and start blending it Foundation in circular motions very seamlessly if you do this in circular motions i will motions. get to know and do it in my next video so that we will be in interaction all the time when we do something like this what else what videos you want to see next see how with very less product your makeup looks so natural so seamless and yet your whatever the dark spots or blemishes or any kind of discoloration is being covered people if at all you are of my skin tone i'm a warm shade so in maybelline i use triple 2 as my shade number it is true beige so you can try if at all you are in my skin tone just very neatly in circular motion start blending it take your time blending is the key to any product if you apply like your foundation your concealer very neatly and if at all you're doing in your hairline just see that you hold your hair like this and start blending it don't forget your ear your neck or we are using mars and blending it looks white but when it starts blending it in your skin it looks natural just wherever it's required very little amount of powder also is required as she mentions in her video so just depending so wherever you require it gives a very dry finish and a brow powdery look so she takes it in a very minimum amount and applies on her whole face in circular motions or just dab the powder so that it sets and makes your base long lasting she uses a powder eyeshadow palette just mixing the black and the dark brown and filling your eyebrows using a small mirror that's what he mentions in the video because these are all very near to your face so see that you take a mirror and start filling your eyebrows from the end and then dragging it towards the front this makes a lot of difference if at all you do your eyebrows it actually frames your face and as well as it gives a that if at all you require more of foundation or it gives a clear picture in fact see how well it so that you blend it upwards in the upward stroke that's what she does 
other eyebrows. See how defined. Just face. with one Same eyebrow. Same way again, we'll now. take an eye shadow and do it this side. In the front, in the upward strokes. The powder makes it very easy to apply than pencil or any pomade because it becomes, it gives a harsh line on your eyebrows. So. Whenever you are a beginner or you are on rush, so never use any pomade or any pencils if you are not used to doing eyebrows. Always use a powder so that it is easy to even remove than putting it so much and then spoiling the whole face. You know, so again you need to rub your foundation, your concealing, everything becomes a problem. The same way she mentions, anything you can add it gradually than subtracting it after putting it so much. So this is what the key is to your makeup also. If at all you are building the product, that is great. But after that, once when you apply too much one shot, nahi hoga. you can't reduce it. So it's better ke aap kabhi bhi kuch bhi lagao. Let it be foundation, let it be concealer, let it be your eyebrows or anything for that matter. Do it very in a moderate form, slowly, gradually keep building the product. Aise aap you can know how much you want and where to stop. This is how you can do any makeup. So it's not only this look but any look just do it very slowly. Take a moderate amount of product and then start building it. This makes a lot of sense while doing makeup and you'll, not, you'll never go wrong. And in front, see that you do it in upward strokes. And then again shadow nothing much nothing a mass palette just very basic taking a basic eyeshadow brown that's it nothing else she does just she does she creates her grease that's what she does that's it and she's done she never does anything else no cut crease nothing so she just creates a grease grease line that's it and start blending it very neatly. that's it Place the product and then start blending it. This is what she does. Just take a round fluffy brush, blending the start. No product. No any fancy eyeshadow, nothing she does. So this way you can do your everyday look. Even if at all you're going for office, you're going for any work or any informal meeting, you can do this kind of look so that it doesn't look too much on your face as well as you'll not feel discomfort you'll not feel uh, okay i'm done i'm overdone or i've overdressed nothing as such very simple very beautifully she does and this is how same way as i told take very little product place it and then start blending it Jaysay, aap abhi dekha aapne, very beautifully take very little product dheere dheere lagao and start blending it as even in foundation, even eye makeup, blending is the key here. And always use a mirror like this so that your whenever anything is close to your eyes, it makes it more perfect and it gives a clear picture ke aap kha galti kar rahe ho, ka nahi kar rahe ho, ke aap at least aap udhar rok sakte ho. If at all you just do on your phone and abhi kabhi mirror far hai, to aap kuch na kuch galti ho sakta hai. So whenever see that you're doing any eye makeup which is something very close to your uh, you are doing very something which is close to your work, uh, close to your eyes. See that you take a mirror and start blending it. Uske bina to actually I even I find it difficult. As she told, without a mirror, it's very difficult to do eye makeup. So once you're done and you're satisfied, just stop taking a brown pencil and doing very close to her lash line. She doesn't use a black pencil, but a brown pencil, very close to her lash line see can you see it very close to your lash line nothing very perfect just close to your lash line because anyway we are going to smoke it out so this is what she does we'll do with another you can see the difference in this size and this size so this is what we'll do same way in this eyes also but what she does is every girl struggles she pulls her eye at the corner and Shadow put the line on a grease line and little bit and then start buff it so that it gives a smoky effect so it doesn't as much liner look that you don't need a perfect liner brown liner see and same How way nice again she looks. takes it to her lower lash line in the mainly concentrating on the inner very close to her lower line brush so that you don't 
get it too much down like having a panda eyes just on your inner corner see see this eyes and see this eyes just like that just on the outer corner of the eye makeup what she did for her Skara. everyday look she doesn't put fake lashes for everyday look so clearing the excess product and then we'll start applying a mascara again she tells she requires a mirror because anything which is close to your eyes you require mirror and don't apply too much of mascara so that it looks very clumsy just apply little bit so that it just opens up your eyes so that's more than enough so aap aise wiggle karke upar lena beautiful it looks it opens up your eyes instantly her blush she doesn't apply any contour or bronzer nothing just taking a normal pink shade again we are going to use from the same palette of mars taking a pink shade she likes very rosy cheeks so very very mild but it has to look that rosiness on her face so very little we'll apply on the apples smile, of the cheek i don't like it so just look straight aise hi straight dekho aap and start applying your blush very little she doesn't apply much and again as she says blending is the key so aise hi aap blend karo so that you get very little product on your face Like as if you have naturally pink cheeks. That's what I very mentioned. rosy it is. उसके बाद शेड from Swiss Beauty. We're going to outline our lip, but keeping your lip shape what it is. Not overlining it. Not underlining it. Nothing as such. जैसा है वैसे ही रहने दो. And just line your lips. Pink she applies. Matte lipstick. I feel we are going to use a Miss Claire one in a very nudey pink purpley shade matching. just as she wanted I just very my lad just lips. talk little bit so that nothing is on your teeth this is a very great tip people always after applying lipstick aise hi bahar aa jate no you can't do that so just check on your teeth whether anything is there or not this no. is done Uske this is a complete look this is what she does on everyday basis for her makeup everyday makeup routine this is what she feels less is more and i hope you liked it Anything else you want to know your tips and tricks and about makeup and any other celebrity look you want to do do let me know in the comments below so that I will love recreating it I hope you liked it and if you have liked it please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos till then bye